Title, Surviving Different Types of Managers, A Guide for Employees. Introduction. Hello everyone, and welcome to today's video. In this hour-long session, we will be discussing different types of managers that you can encounter in the workplace and what you need to do to survive working with them. As we all know, managing people is not an easy job, and different managers have different styles, expectations, and personalities that can impact your work experience. Therefore, in this video, we will be exploring some common types of managers and sharing some tips and strategies for coping with their quirks and demands. So, let's get started. Section 1, The Micromanager. The first type of manager that we will be discussing is the micromanager. This is the type of manager who is overly controlling, detail-oriented, and obsessive about everything you do. They may constantly check on your progress, monitor your emails, and give you little to no autonomy. Working with a micromanager can be frustrating and demotivating, as it can make you feel like you're not trusted or valued. However, there are some things you can do to survive and even thrive under a micromanager. For example, you can communicate clearly and frequently, be proactive in updating your micromanager on your progress, plans, and challenges. This can help them feel more at ease and less likely to micromanage you. Seek feedback and guidance. Ask your micromanager for feedback on your work and seek their advice on how to improve. This can show them that you respect their expertise and value their input. Set boundaries and expectations. Be clear about what you need from your micromanager in terms of support, resources, and trust. Let them know that you're capable of doing your job and that you need some space to make decisions and take risks. Section 2, The Absentee Manager. The second type of manager that we will be discussing is the absentee manager. This is the type of manager who is hands-off, disengaged, and hard to reach. They may be too busy with other tasks, projects, or meetings to pay attention to your work, or they may lack the skills or motivation to lead effectively. Working with an absentee manager can be challenging, as it can make you feel like you're on your own and don't have a clear direction or support. However, there are some things you can do to survive and even excel under an absentee manager. For example, you can be self-directed and proactive, take ownership of your work and set your own goals and priorities. Don't wait for your manager to give you instructions or feedback. Build relationships and networks, seek support and guidance from other colleagues, mentors, or experts in your field. This can help you learn new skills, get feedback, and expand your horizons. Communicate assertively and respectfully, be clear about your expectations, concerns, and ideas, and express them in a professional and courteous manner. This can help you build trust and credibility with your manager and other stakeholders. Section 3, The Bully Manager. The third type of manager that we will be discussing is the bully manager. This is the type of manager who is aggressive, manipulative, and abusive. They may yell, insult, threaten, or sabotage you or others to get their way or vent their frustration. Working with a bully manager can be traumatic and damaging, as it can harm your mental and physical health, as well as your career prospects. Therefore, if you're dealing with a bully manager, you need to take immediate action to protect yourself and seek help. Here are some tips and strategies. Document the abuse, keep a record of any incidents or behaviors that the bully manager has displayed towards you or others, including dates, times, witnesses, and impacts. This can be helpful in building a case or filing a complaint. Seek support and resources, talk to someone you trust, such as a colleague, friend, family member, or therapist, about what you're experiencing. They can provide you with emotional support, validation, and guidance on what to do next. You can also seek help from HR, EAP, or legal services if available. Stand up for yourself, be assertive and firm in setting boundaries, refusing to comply with unreasonable demands, and reporting any violations of policies or laws. Remember that you have the right to a safe and respectful workplace, and that the bully manager's behavior is not your fault or your responsibility to fix. Conclusion Well, there you have it. We've covered some common types of managers that you can encounter in the workplace and shared some tips and strategies for surviving and thriving under each one. Whether you're dealing with a micromanager, an absentee manager, or a bully manager, remember that you have the power to influence your work experience and shape your career trajectory. By communicating effectively, 
building relationships, setting boundaries, and seeking help when needed, you can overcome the challenges and capitalize on the opportunities that come with working with different types of managers. Thank you for watching, and I hope you found this video helpful. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more content like this. See you next time.